What's good, Omni Gang or Omni Scales Gang? If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. The cream tools will allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer, man. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's easy and everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm. Once again, that's anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R.fm. See you out there. What do you want to talk about? How abundant life is. How grateful I am to be alive. It has been a journey for over a year I always think in the back of my mind before every episode that on the first two episodes, I wouldn't say I was terrified to do them to, you know, try something new, but I was a bit apprehensive. The first episode, definitely, I tried to do it in a public space. I actually did do it. Uh, the random talk uh, with in under 10 minutes in the library hallway. It's like out in the front. It's a big uh, glass wall where you can see straight outside. And, uh, you know, just speaking about random things, planes, <laughs> you know, how cool it was outside. Weather wise, the low humidity uh, spoke about where I was. And I'd have to say, I was probably talking this slow and thinking about how I could improve and where I would go as far as the podcast game. And I was thanking, or did I think? I don't know if I thunk, thanked them or not, but I was thanking Gary V and someone else who said they liked my voice for you know me jumping on the Anchor app, which uh, has me on eight platforms, I believe, uh, as of right now, which is cool, super cool, super awesome. So I'm casting a wide net slash wide web in this world. So you can call me the 3.0 version of the Internet since I'm the wide web world caster. (laughs) Yes, yes, yes. It's technically Friday. I could not sleep, but I believe I do need sleep. Uh, stayed up very, very late <sighs> Wednesday night, had to come to work Thursday, um, towards the last quarter of the day, Thursday, when I was working, I believe I dozed off while listening to a, or watching YouTube, uh, during some downtime, uh, for me personally, I don't know what it is about falling asleep. But when I'm falling asleep, I feel like I go into like another realm of like thoughts and uh, what is it of thoughts and like foresight or foreshadowing or prominence or uh, what do you call it? What do you premonition? Like I see something, hear something like I'm just like in a different place. Like I'm if I'm I don't know if I'm teetering on being conscious and dreaming and being unconscious or what it is, but I'm in that zone when I'm like falling asleep. And if I go to sleep, I guess it'll continue. But if I wake up, I can recollect like the last little piece of whatever it was I was immersed in as I was tired and falling asleep. Sometimes I can actually hear myself snoring, which is fucking insane. <laughs> I mean, no matter if it's like a point two, four, five, fifth of a second, I can hear it. And I'm back conscious and I wake up and, you know, keep going about whatever. Uh, I believe rest is very important also, but I believe work ethic is important as well. I believe we should work hard, but work, uh, but sleep harder, you know, rest, rest harder. Uh, I believe uh, Gary Vee said it in a real practical way. I don't know. I don't remember how, exactly how he said it, but he says he gets like uh, six to eight hours of sleep at night, every night. But worked so hard during the day, you know, granted, he worked hard for what he has and, you know, his position, his influence. 
so he can hire a team to, you know, help him with a lot of bunch of different things. But uh, yeah, man, I was on my first Zoom call last week for a marketing study about what was it talking about? Um, we discussed apparel and shit, stuff like that, shoes and all that good stuff. Um, I think it was good for me to, you know, get into it, talk, and meet other people, see their experiences, because I do want to be a fitness shoe model, actor, um, get immersed in a bunch of different things, check out a whole bunch of different avenues, stroll down a few different lanes, even jump on a dirt bike for however, whatever, um, through it, through whatever, you know, just take journeys, man. I feel like that's what all life's all about, taking journeys. Um, getting to know yourself, tasting a bunch of different things, aka sampling, aka trying. Uh, I will never ever want to be one sided. I will never ever want to be one dimensional. I've tried not to be that ever since I became uh, self aware of my capabilities, my strengths, my weaknesses, and you know, just working on improving everything that I'm good at and not focusing on my weaknesses. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely doubling down on empathy, definitely doubling down on self-awareness, um, definitely doubling down on expressing myself and being kind, showing candor, employing it, um, you know, just employing practicality to towards, in, in, towards everything I do. Uh, I want to be deeply involved with growing, of course, but providing value at the same time. I feel like that's the only way that you can, or one of the only ways, probably the main way though, that you can grow, that you can amass a following of some sort, that you can amass um, the things that you want to to see come come forth, whether it be sponsorship deals, influencing dollars, marketing dollars, ad hoc, uh, whether it be sponsorships, which I think is super cool, uh, endorsements, you know, I want to get into all of that, man. Uh, I believe utilizing knowledge of self, employing it versus or into knowledge of money, uh, management of it, just learning about it, um, educating yourself for hours upon hours upon hours upon hours. Uh, learning can facilitate big things, man. Phenomenal things. I've been thinking a lot, man. Uh, I've got a few challenges. I have a few goals. Really, actually, a lot of goals. Um, I'm working on employing some type of strategy or strategies towards my seller accounts, whether they be on uh, Facebook Marketplace and eBay. Um. I've sold a few things on eBay. I feel like I have a lot of great, great things that I don't, I'm not going to use. I don't want to throw them away, but you know, perhaps somebody else can use them. Uh, I have a few different things like phone chargers, the, the blocks, whatever you call those little things you plug into the wall, the travel, travel charger parts without the cord. I have a, is it Tyco? Xbox 360 uh, controller, the uh, base. Where you put you can put two controllers, two chargeable controllers onto that uh, charging station and charge their controllers. Um, I have a PlayStation Four uh, Slim that I'm selling for four seventy five or best offer, but I will not accept anything less than four sixty four fifty five. Um, also have. Some women's bear trap boots, the brown and autumn, or if that's the color. <laughs> I have a air mattress pump, a standalone pump that you can just, you know, you actually, you can pump up anything with it. Um, granted, it fits with the grooves or the nozzle of the air pump itself. I have a camp uh, inflatable sofa that you can inflate as well. And I believe I have a Nike headband that I bought. It was an impulse buy. I shouldn't have bought it. Never worn it. 
I uh, don't have the original packaging, but it's a dry fit Nike headband, something similar to like what the football players wear. Um, it's standard size of like an NBA headband, but it's like made out of like dry fit material instead of like the cotton that's or the polyester or whatever the, the traditional NBA headbands are made out of. Um, of course, I have, and as far as circumference, I guess, a size eight plus head. So standard hats and headbands don't fit me unless they're like the NBA headband consistency where it's like elastic and stretches. That aside, <laughs> um, I decided to become, be honest with myself and be honest with uh, someone that I talked to or the, someone that, that wanted me to sell something for them on eBay. Uh, I've had, I had the product of theirs for over six months. Uh, did a uh, promotion, actually a few promotions on the item. I don't I think like maybe like two or three promotions on it and it did not sell. Got like tons of views, but nobody took action. Uh, within that time though, I did sell a home edics speaker that, uh, played rain sounds, uh, soothing sounds to help you sleep. And I believe like thunderstorms and all that good kind of stuff, rain, all that good stuff, the whole nine that did sell. Um, but that was like the only thing within like the last year, I say I had a few other things on there that didn't sell and they're not selling. Uh, I don't know what it is. I've done random promotions on them through eBay. Uh, still, I mean, got views, but you know, haven't uh, sold anything besides that. So I'm trying to like think of what I could do to work on a different strategy to sell, uh, my items, uh, instead of having to go to the pawn shop, which I really definitely don't want to do. Um, I feel like, you know, it would be direct to consumer wise. It'd be great that, you know, have somebody see these items and, you know, really need them instead of them sitting in a pawn shop waiting on, you know, somebody to maybe buy them or maybe not buy them. Um, definitely it's not all about me, of course. Um, I, like I said, I don't need a lot of this stuff I have here. Some of the stuff that I, I did buy to flip, I want to be completely honest with you. I actually have a sound bar here. Um, uh, that I would like to sell as well uh, in the near future. And I'll probably like upgrade um, once I get the chance. But, you know, as of right now, I'm, you know, going to bring it back around to what I was really actually thinking about. I wanted to, wanted to say on the podcast. I- I actually just got cut off here. But as I was saying mid-sentence, I had some dress shoes that someone wanted me to sell for them um they asked me a little bit about myself a little bit of small talk and i told them i had an e-commerce business which is honestly me selling things online through ebay um trying to get my amazon set up actually as i've trying to been i've trying i've been trying to do uh i mistakenly put in information of a joint bank account which wasn't a nit- like I'm not the primary account holder of that. So I'm in limbo now because some of my information doesn't match what's on the statement of the bank account. So then I'm going to have to use a whole nother email address or just start a whole new e- uh, Amazon account and use a second email address I created to start selling on Amazon. Hopefully that will help me uh, along with posts on LinkedIn, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, and Instagram, uh, run some ads. Hopefully, you know, get to get my eBay to where I want it, to where I'm selling things. It doesn't have to be something every day. It can be like a few items a week, but you know, I'm trying to get into the process of growing and figuring out how to actually sell, uh, my unwanted things all in fair or great or new condition. Um, just want to, you know, flip, make some sub uh subsidiary income it's passive income upon my regular nine to five i think that's a good thing to do especially if you enjoy it uh for me the best part is shipping it for whatever reason it's not even what i'm selling it's not even the thing selling it's not even you know me getting money from things selling it's the shipping process i love like packaging it up putting it you know the address is going to uh, paying for the postage, putting the postage on it and, you know, just shipping it out for whatever reason that brings me great joy. I believe that's the only reason that I am still going strong 
even though, like I said, I've only sold one thing within the last year on eBay. I'm going to be completely honest, completely frank with you. I do not lie. Definitely, especially on my podcast. I'm going to give you the complete honest to God truth. I'm going to come from the heart. I'm going to try to promote, provide the most value I can. And hopefully somebody can either learn from some of my mistakes and or hit me up and, you know, assist me and f- tell me what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I should, you know, go back on Google, go back on YouTube and watch a few more hours of content about how to sell or how to uh, position and market your items on eBay when they're not selling, when you're not when you're getting tons of views, but nobody's buying. Uh, I read some snippets of Gary V's first two books, Crushing It and Crush It, where he says you get views, but nobody cares. So nobody's pushing a button. Nobody's you're not making sales. You're not getting anybody to buy anything you know people viewing and they don't really care which i see that i understand that um but we all have to start somewhere uh not it hasn't broken my spirits i'm not giving up but it, you know it is a little bit frustrating but you know i don't think that is enough to stop me i don't think that's enough that's enough to uh not make me want to go back to the drawing boards um reinvent myself re reassess re-educate uh, really hit the hit the pavement running, you know, and really just like lock in and learn, 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 learn a little bit more about what it takes to sell and try to find some videos where, you know, people help people that can't sell anything or aren't selling anything online. And like I said, again, I need to start the Amazon up. I'm going to probably use this, another email that I just created a few months ago since I can't use my primary email because it's not allowing me to I guess take the information off that I put in. It's trying to get it's trying to get me to give information that's wrong uh through, you know, me putting in the statement for my joint account. Which, you know, isn't doesn't match my profile completely. Cause it's not in my I'm not the primary account holder. But anyway, uh yeah, man. As far as what I was saying about the shoes, man, the uh, apparel that someone gave me to sell. I had it for over six months, couldn't sell it. So I just recently get, gave the merchandise back to the person. Um, I had, you know, had to be honest, had to be frank with it, be a straight shooter. Uh, I don't, cause I don't bullshit. I don't ever want to get that in my head or in my mindset. I've learned from watching a lot of people. I've seen a lot of different things and I figured, you know, it's the best way to just tell them that straight up, I couldn't sell it. It's my account. It ain't what I'm selling. It's me. For whatever reason, I'm getting views. I'm getting people to see things, but nobody cares. Nobody wants to push the button or buy anything. Maybe it's the way I'm packaging it. Maybe it's my description. Maybe it's the pricing. Uh, maybe it's just the marketing behind it. Uh, like I said, I did promotions on YouTube itself, but I didn't run any other ads anywhere else. I think I might have did a Facebook ad or a run. Um, but other than that, I you know, I don't think I was really doing as much as I could do. That's why I didn't sell for for six months. But you know. They asked me, was I sure I couldn't sell it? You know, told them the honest to God truth. I don't know if I got to get with some, a team or find some people on LinkedIn that, you know, know a little bit more. Or just go to Google, go to YouTube. I'll probably go to YouTube tomorrow morning uh, whenever I get to work or whatever or whenever I have downtime tomorrow. we got a whole weekend ahead of me. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with being honest and, you know, admitting your faults, admitting your weaknesses. And, you know, admitting when you don't feel like you're in a position to do something or, you know, Admitting that you're not as good as you thought you were, you know, even aside from that on your own time, you're going to take time to go educate yourself and get yourself together and shoot to the plateaus that you know you can get to. Uh, You know, it's no shame in that. Like I say, honesty is the best policy. And, you know, I'm just trying to step from, you know, being at the bottom where I am or, you know, somewhere in the middle to get to the higher plateaus, the higher higher parts of the mountaintop, so to speak, quote unquote, and the immortal Martin Luther King's words. Uh, but yeah, ain't nothing wrong with telling the truth. Nothing wrong with it. You know, you got to be self aware. You got to have empathy. You can't be delusional. And you know, I, don't, I feel like I'm not delusional. But you know, greater days will come. Great times will come. I will rise. I will put myself in better positions through education of hours upon hours upon hours of doing research to be able to do what I want to do before I allow myself to 
try to do something to help someone else. You know, you said they say you got to help yourself before you can help someone else. So, you know, I need to actually revamp my eBay and definitely also post the items on Amazon. I do have some marketplace things I'm selling as well that haven't really sold either. So, you know, I'm going to have to try to restructure my whole e-commerce, even though it's not like an official business side hustle. It's a, it's a, it is a side hustle, but, you know, uh, I'm working towards something. I want to do something. I want to be something. Um, I want to help people. I want to enable people. I want to inspire people. And, you know, it may not work if I don't value the process, value the journey. And the value, the hustle, grit, and grind of what it takes to get there. I feel like you got to like it and love it. You know, it's cool having an education. It's cool going to school. And, you know, maybe that education would help me. But I'm not in the woulda, coulda, wish I shoulda, woulda, coulda business. I'm in the employing practicality towards common sense goals and things that I want to do. That's as simple as that. I don't need to go to school to learn how to do what I want to do. I just need to post content consistently. I need to respect the platform, respect the people viewing it, provide value. And I think I can really, really hit some benchmarks and some, hit some milestones and, you know, build some accolades and, you know, build something. You know, it's, it's, it's not all about the money, but at the end of the day, we do need to be able to pay our bills. We do need to be able to sustain life uh we do need to be able to afford the cost of living we do need to be able to feed ourselves uh definitely keep a roof over your head uh, if you do have a vehicle maintain it insurance gas maintenance all that the whole nine got to be on point in all areas if you're independent and also if you if you're codependent just be on point with yourself taking care of yourself looking after yourself and just being healthy and doing everything you need to do. In my opinion, you know, if you choose this entrepreneurial life, if you choose this self-reliant life, if you choose this independent life, you have to stay consistent with it. Whether it's posting content, building self-awareness, building brand as I am trying to do myself and, and staying in good spirits and really consistent. <clears throat> I do believe in happiness. I'm employing different mechanics, different tactics to get to where I want to be at. And of course, no, it will not happen without, you know, practicality, empathy, self awareness, uh, no delusions of grandeur. But, uh, I don't mind continuing to be gregarious and, you know, going for what I want, you know, shooting for Mars, but aiming for Saturn. Let's put a nice spin on that analogy slash cliche. Uh, yeah, man. <clears throat> the power is yours in the words of the immortal Captain Planet. <laughs> the... Fortitude is yours. The resilience is yours. The will is yours. The determination is yours. And most importantly, the patience and discipline is yours. To do with it as you please, to do with it as you may. These are the two most important things to me. Patience and discipline. Uh, it's really easy to make money, even easier to spend it. I have been consistently working on that as well. Uh, I do not want to be the type of person who makes money and, you know, spends it half as fast as I earn it. You know, that just doesn't make practical sense. That's how people stay broke with jobs. That's how people stay broke making salaries. That's how people, you know, go do things and have fun in the spur of the moment. But in the long term, like, what are you really doing? Are you building anything? Are you building it? Are you building legacy? Are you building brand? Are you building your personal brand? Are you building a business? Are you building things that 
your grandchildren will look back and say, man, so that's the blueprint. That was his process. That's what he did. That's how he made the world feel. That's how he thought that was his process or her process. Um, that's an interesting story. 30, 40 years ago, even 20 years ago, most people couldn't look back and hear words of their from their descendants or, you know, or ancestors, because they are the descendants of their ancestors or, you know, people, their elders. But I think this is going to be pretty cool to, you know, how my kids look back, how their kids look back, how their kids, kids, kids look back, how their kids, 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 kids look back and so forth and so on. Uh, hopefully. Beyond the span of infinity and beyond or in, to infinity and beyond. Eons upon eons upon eons. And, you know, hopefully this recording slash podcast slash information slash slew of thoughts from my mind ends up in, you know, museums someday, hopefully duplicated into my own personal collection through NFTs and all that good stuff. Oh, I should do an episode about NFTs. I don't really know too much about them, but, you know, like the in-game purchases like skins and. Uh, you know, different weapons and different stuff like that, like in-game purchases and digital currency. Through digital currency, you buy it. Uh, this is a pretty pretty big thing. I think I want to jump down a rabbit hole, maybe through YouTube or wherever, to learn a little bit more about NFTs. I know, like, I mean, what it means, but, you know, I want to create a few of my own. Uh, drop projects through Gary V's VCon someday in the future. Hopefully I can, you know, get some free tokens this Sunday. Or one that gives me or grants me access to that uh, that um, conference, the VCon, and all that good stuff. Um, you know, do some networking, compare notes and thoughts. Hopefully, there's like some things there as far as anime, cosplay. I'm into all of that. I'm not a professional or anything, but you know, I do have a few items from shows I've watched that I wear from time to time, and you know. It feels good having people look at me and, you know, whether they like it or not, whether they dislike it or wonder, like, what the hell is he doing? What is that on him? Uh, never seen nothing like that, but I know what it is. You know, it brings me great joy to get that kind of attention instead of, you know, people looking at me crazy because of my looks. Uh, maybe because of, you know, a few imperfections, maybe like you know, some dark spots on my neck, ball spot um, or wherever else, you know, people judge people for my good or whatever, but you know, it's all good. I'm not like down on myself or tripping about none of that. It's all good. Everybody's not going to like you. Everybody's not going to love you. Everybody's not going to really rock with you a hundred percent, which I wouldn't want anybody to anyway. Uh, because you know, try to remain empathetic. And like I said, continue to provide value. Uh, I feel like that's the way all creators should be. That's how they, they should think. Stay consistent, uh, create, Go for what you want. Search for happiness. That's really all that matters. They definitely employ, employ the practicality. I keep saying it because I've learned it. Uh, you know, show empathy and just keep, you know, shooting. Keep going. Keep fighting. Keep keep rolling. I mean, that's what it's all about to me anyway. You know, if you, you know, don't stand for something, you fall for anything. And if you fall for anything, you can't stand for anything. So, hey. What was that? A double, triple entendre? I doubt it. But um, <laughs> yeah. Life, life, life. You should live it. Don't watch. Don't bring people down. In my opinion, don't be negative. Go for what you want. Do your thing. Double down on your strengths. But acknowledge your weaknesses. Is it unfair to live without having a public wallet? Is it unfair to live without owning any digital currency? Is it unfair to live without buying NFTs or owning your own NFTs and, excuse me, and buying and owning your own NFTs? Is it unfair? Maybe, maybe not. But I will continue to create. I will continue to grow. I will continue to prosper. I will continue to chase after the aspiring model positions, the aspiring acting gigs, the 
fitness goals, I will continue to prosper and aspire. Let's go. Don't stop, won't stop ever. Put it out into the universe. Promote positivity with practicality, self awareness, and empathy. I will shine, I will prosper. You will too, as long as you stay consistent. I M O. What that mean? In my opinion. Thank you.